that love and that respect. So that became part of who I am. Didn't you find uh, all those years teaching uh, sets you up for this whole thing of giving? Yes. Yes, I because definitely you, went you into it. Because you are giving if you're a good yeah, teacher. Yeah, and you're right. I went into this to be able to give. And, and you yes. won awards for uh, innovative programs with cooperative teaching. And, and I think that um, this, this gives you a whole mindset, I think, to how can I do that? How can I effectively give back, give back and, and do this kind of thing. I'm sure you are a wonderful inspirational speaker. Thank you. And um, I, I will say that I didn't realize how many lives I impacted mm -hmm. until I retired and I saw tears yeah. Yeah. and superintendent begging me not to leave and his wife had been my student. I never anticipated all that because it was just something that I did. It's something you did. And I would have done it for free. I got as much from my students, I'm sure, as they got from me. I, I feel the same way. Yes, Those were yes, my happiest sure years. Did. Absolutely yes. my happiest years and the most influential in my life. And uh, I, I continue with my books to try to give to the And uh, you do. I mean, I've read your books. They're, they're amazing. <laughs> they're funny. They're wonderful <laughs> books and, and just mm -hmm. the kind of genre that I so enjoy. Uh, we are coming up in a few years on the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage in this country. We haven't even had the vote for 100 years yet. We've come a long way, baby. We have. Yeah, and, and yes. everything that you're talking about really uh, shows that, that women are coming out and uh, doing all these amazing things. Sure, and we have the choices, and I think that's what choices. it's all about. Yes. Because... I still like to wear lipstick. I still like to wait on some people. Like to be a girl. I, yeah, I'm a girly girl. <laughs> I, I think you could tell that. But I have choices, and that's the freedom. I must say, in the 70s, yes, I was, you know, in college, and I remember Gloria uh, Steinem. I met Betty Friedan. <coughs> I remember all that. And at first I thought, oh, my goodness, now I'm going to have to have my child, clean the house, work, and do it all. <laughs> Can I do it all? And of course, that's the question that one always asks oneself. And they still are. And still are. And they still but are. we have the choice to make that decision. And if I care to wait on somebody, it's because I want to. And how much freer can that be? I remember in the 70s, you know, in the 80s, being married, and people saying, you know, you wait on your husband. And I said, and with pleasure. And it was like, oh my goodness. But you see, that's the freedom. And I'm so secure with myself that I can do it. Yes. And when you treat somebody kindly and you get that back tenfold, learn a lesson from well, that. Well, I also think <laughs> that, that um, the women's yeah. movement has evolved from um, trying to be men to right. uh, understanding your powers as a woman yes. and using your, your femininity mm -hmm. for uh, the purpose of... Uh, Giving your gifts back uh, that are, right. uh, you know, exclusively a woman's gifts. Well, you know, I see that, Linda. I see it as any of the rights people, <laughs> whether it be, and you know, we both love animals, but it could be PETA, it could be any of them. Mm -hmm. What I think happens is that we go a little bit out of the realm, mm -hmm. and we need people like that mm -hmm. because it's, it's like teaching. Remember, it was, a, and then you get back. And you end up in that circle. But you need to get out of the realm. We need to get out of the comfort zone mm -hmm. to find out what more we can do, what's expected of us. Exactly. We need to be pushed. So I think that's a great thing. Let's get to your TV show. You have a TV show called Make King a Difference <laughs> with Gail yes. on Madhouse TV. Talk I about that because I think it. you have a really fabulous um, gig going there. Thank you. I think this is one of the happiest times of my life. Obviously, it's my daughter, my grandchildren, the people that are in my life. But I love the show. First of all, um, it's the teacher in me. So when I select people as yourself, who is just wonderful, by the way, to come on the show, I do my research as I would a lesson plan. Mm -hmm. So you could find me for an hour show, 20 to 30 hours a week. Sure. And I compliment the person because I want the person to know that I so respect him mm -hmm. or her. I will select people that make a difference in the lives of others. Sometimes it's a very big difference and sometimes not as much in the public as people will know. And then I share that with the audience. And it's amazing. It becomes also networking with the guests that I have on. That's true. But I've had authors, senators, 
it's been such an education for me. I mean, I get to read a book of pleasure once, you know, a day now, but I have to tell you, I'm in books and researching all the time, and it keeps my mind sharp and alert right. and opens up doors for me of people I never thought I would meet. Um, this is just a quick question. Sure. Um, Barbara Walters recently retired, and she had a show on television. Did you happen to catch that show? I did. Wasn't that great? I loved uh, it. I was taking notes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the questions she asks, and mm -hmm. uh, um, I thought I, I, I thought it was very interesting that, uh, you know, she did all those interviews. They were so successful, and I agree with you. When you interview people, you have to do research on them. You can't just oh my goodness. ask them some pat question without knowing something about their background and being able to direct that conversation towards uh, I know highlighting it's successful them. If my guest says either you've done your homework or I didn't realize you knew that, then I think to myself, good one, because yeah. now the person knows how seriously I'm taking it. And then people the next week, you know, can watch it or they'll hope to get on the show. Uh, may, I, may I say it's on? Tuesday evenings. Yes, from please six give to the show seven. a plug. <laughs> yeah, it's Tuesday evenings from six to seven, making a difference with Gail, and it's on Madhouse TV. Madhouse TV. It's, it's, it's you can go to making a difference with Gail dot com, right? And you can find the website. Mm -hmm. You can find the show link. But I love it because so many different people. Now, what's your favorite story? You know, I had a feeling you were going to ask that, <laughs> and I was just saying to Shelley in the car. I said, that's like asking which is your favorite child. And the reason I say that is because each show is something different. But I will share a few of them, if I may, with you as far as genres and the types. One that impacted me was a gentleman who had been in a gang who, his name is Angel Wettis, who has a fabulous book called Rise to Grace. And he turned his life around when people stopped believing in him, when he went into crime and oh. he was destined to die. And he was actually uh, stabbed in front of a church and left for death. And this whole image came to him. And he turned his life around. I believe in second chances. Oh, and I do how too. wonderful to share this with everybody. Work with people who are in gangs, change your life, and do good. So he stands out. But then again, I love the core program with Senator Flanagan. Alzheimer's. My dad suffered from Alzheimer's. So to get people who are leaders in this field to come on so that I can find out more and share and think about my dad and do homage to him by dedicating the show. I love authors such as yourself. It's just been extraordinary. I've had 501c3s, animals. I've gotten animals adopted. How amazing is that? To know that I can do some impact. Children with great talent. We have about a minute left. Oh, my goodness. I know. Did it goes go very, fast? very quickly when there's somebody as interesting as you. Thank you, Wanda. What, what's in the future, Gail? Any new projects going on? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> All the time. Um, what I'm doing, and I, and I still do some of the modeling, and I do you know, quite a few of the speaking. Uh, I'm going to be doing something with Cactus. I'll give them a plug. Uh, they're going to do this huge show, and I'm not only going to be modeling in it, but they're going to color my hair, and I'm going to be one of the guests of honor. Uh, I'm going to be doing so much as far as um, magazines, interviews, uh, some celebrities. But in my book, everyone's a celebrity because everyone has something to offer. And this woman who, at age 25, wasn't expected to live, turned around, became somewhat of a celebrity then we're all celebrities. We are. Thank you so much, Thank Gail. Thank you so that much. That was great. Thank you. It was fun.